Hi there, I'm Mitch Randall, Technical Manager for KB UK. And uh, this video is a quick and easy way to connect the um, F5 with a um, field bus operator on uh, using the HSP5 um, serial communications port on the operator and our Conviva 6 software. For the purpose of this um, video, we've got our standard F5 and on this F5 here, we have the um, Ethercat um, operator, field bus operator. And to do the communications with this, we're going to use our standard USB serial converter and this um, yellow HSB5 cable. So we'll start the, um, connect all the hardware up together to the laptop. So the first thing to do is plug the orange cable into the 9 pin D type like this. And we plug it into this uh, X6B port that's on the front of the operator. It looks more like a RJ45, uh, but it's our special RS485 serial communications port for HSP5 communications. And then we'll plug it into the laptop down here. And we're ready to go with the um, connecting the software. Let's start by uh, getting the CombiViz 6 software open, as we have here. And now to connect straight to the um, F5 inverter using the HSB5 communications, we'll just scan for the um, KEV device by clicking this little um, scan for um, KEV device button here. And we'll get the serial communications um, or the device scanner pop-up window open. As we're not using the Ethernet, I'll just disable the TCP IP and UDP connections. Also, to make it a little bit quicker, I'll disable COM port 3, which is not the um, serial port we'll be using. We're using COM port 4 in this case, which is the USB serial communications. And now the thing to do is to press this um, start to start the search for the, um, the drive. So we'll get that scanning away. Oh, and as you see, it's been fairly quick. Um, one of the things to point out at this point is that we've uh, been looking at scanning node address zero and one for the um, on all the um, bode rates using the serial port, um, this COM port four. And one of the um, features of this um, software is that it will always report um, as many drives as you have um, scanned for. So you've got to bear this in mind, and the best thing to do is to disable um, zero, and only select, make sure there's only one of them selected, because you've only got one drive um, connected to your serial, um, USB serial converter here. This is a feature of the um, HSB5, um, protocol that it, uh, when it converts it in the USB here, it tends to find it on every, um, on every node that we um, search for. As you've only got one selected, we're using um, node one. We will just click on the drive, on add the selected drive, uh, add the selected device here. And this window should, pop-up window should close and as you can see, we're now connected to the F5. From here, we can go to the um, device parameters and expand the different menus. So the RU menu, for instance, and we get live feedback on what's happening in the drive. Or alternatively, we can go and make some changes to actual parameters. For instance, the operational parameters for things like uh, acceleration and uh, what reference source we're using. Having got your um, your software connected by the um, HSB5 serial, we can then go on to make a, a backup of all the drive parameters with the um, Ethercat operator um, connected. So once you've um, backed up all your drive parameters and um, you've made adjustments to the um, parameters of the drive, 
you can always go ahead and um, save the project as for um, record keeping purposes so you have a, a ability to um, reinstate them should you have a problem with the drive in the future. The reason we use this um, HSP5 um, cable is so we can connect with the drive and we can also monitor some of the um, parameters that are being written across by the field bus. So in this case, we have an Ether, EtherCAT um, uh, field bus. Um, so if we had the EtherCAT connected to our PLC, we'll be able to monitor um, certain key parameters like the uh, command speed, the speed feedback, and see what parameters are being sent back to the PLC and being um, received from the PLC live via this um, communications cable. So this is one of the reasons why we um, use this HSB5 with, this, with the field bus operators, is to help um, with diagnosing any issues we might have on the um, field bus.